Morning everyone, welcome back to the ETC Quickie. Uh, yesterday we talked about subject questions, who rang John, who uh, faxed Susie, etc, etc. And today we're going to be talking about non-subject questions. The big difference in English as to how you formulate questions. All right, uh, episode 23 today, Tuesday the 21st of April, 2020. Right. Okay, so let's go straight to the diagram today. You don't need to see my ugly face too often. Um, so, uh, yeah, yesterday we talked about subject questions. Who rang Carol? Who faxed? Susan, etc., etc., and um, today we're going to talk about non subject questions. That's the only important thing. It doesn't matter if it's the object or another thing we're talking about. The only important thing is that it's not the subject because we know who the subject is. In German, you would say, Wen hat Johnny angerufen? Johnny is the subject, and uh, Wen is the object. Okay, now in English to do this, we also use the question word who, but we need to add did. <clears throat> so we say, who did Johnny ring? Okay, who rang Johnny means wer hat den Johnny angerufen. And if we say, who did Johnny ring, that means wen hat Johnny angerufen. Okay. Okay, so today we're going to concentrate on three non-subject questions. We're going to talk, uh, have a, formulate the object question. So, wen hat Johnny angerufen? We're going to talk about the time of the call. So, wann hat Johnny Carol angerufen? And we're going to talk about the reason for the call. Also, warum hat Johnny Carol angerufen? Okay, so first of all, the object question. Uh, wen hat Johnny angerufen? Who did Johnny ring? And the answer is Carol. Okay, wen hat Johnny angerufen? Then the time of the call, uh, when did Johnny ring Carol? And the answer is 9.45, quarter to 10. And the third one, the reason for the call, why did Johnny ring Carol? And the answer is, he rang her to ask her if she has time to meet. Okay, that's it. You need to put the did to make sure that it's not a, a subject question. And then the rest should be relatively easy. So your homework for today is to formulate as uh, for each of the uh, things on the diagram for the facts at 10.35 um, from Susan to Ross for example uh, you need to formulate three questions so uh, who did Susan fax uh, when did Susan fax Ross and why did Susan fax Ross and of course you need to write down the three answers so uh, she uh, faxed Ross uh, she faxed him at 10.35 and um, she uh, faxed him to send him the contract. 